Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I am here to read SCP-804, World Without Man. The term man is being used to refer to all humanity. It is not meant to be used as a gender term. I have number, SCP-804. Object Class, Keter. Special Katerian Procedures Until such time as SCP-84 is found to be without any mimetic effect, it is to remain in its original location at the former site of blank, Alaska, where exposure to the elements prevents its reactivation. A 30 meter by 30 meter camouflage chart is maintained over SCP-804 and facilities for armed guards and testing are to be maintained at 130 meters from its location. Trespassers are to be treated with Class A amnestics and returned to the nearest town of that expunged, or terminated at the discretion of on-site security. In the event of SCP-804 being approached or seized by a hostile armed force, Contingency 804X is to be executed. <clears throat> Description SCP-804 is the remains of an art installation titled World Without Man, revealed on a date it, it after 2000 by the defunct artist group Unamat at Paramasta uh, Mailmasta. Surprisingly, not are we cool yet. According to documentation retrieved and deleted from the artist's website uh, during cleanup procedure, SCP-804 was originally a large clear globe of the Earth with several smaller globes and video equipment within. Promotional, promotional material on the website implied that the globe was to display images of Pastoral wildernesses untouched by mankind, contrasted with visuals of abandoned human industry and decaying landmarks. Upon activation before a small audience of prominent environmental activists and artists from the nearby community of blank, SCP-804 began to display its destructive properties. We can only speculate if the device's output was intentional or not, as those involved in its in its construction and perished during the instant of where I've gone into hiding. But a globe with was within SCP-804 rotate, all man-made artifacts within approximately 100 meters begin to rapidly deteriorate until completely disintegrated. The effect act applies to anything ranging from machinery to building inks, clothing, plastics, synthetic, chemical compounds, and any tool more complex than a sharpened stick of wood. The area effect grows oh, the longer the, the device is active, with the effect growing ever stronger or at its source. Human tissue is also affected at a slow rate of decay, causing victims to become emaciated and as they lose body mass, leading up to the collapse of the skeleton and death, with the bodies swiftly breaking down into component and matter shortly thereafter. Non-human life is completely unaffected. Persons who escape the area of effect experience symptoms similar to prolonged starvation, bucket, and return to full health with proper care. <sighs> if not for the fact that it is not entirely immune to its own effect, SCP-804 would have, have had the potential to remove all traces of humanity from the globe in a matter of weeks. Judging from the observed rate of destruction upon original activations versus the current abilities under testing, SB-804's abilities have been impaired by the damage it caused to itself. However, sustained use still presents as an extreme threat, especially if the device is somehow refined or repaired. Due to the circumstances in which SCP-804 was secured, it is strongly believed that the device also possesses some form of mental composure on those who view it. But testing is still ongoing to determine if the pro if that prop property has been compromised by the decay of SCP-804. 
and how it may be con contained. See recovery log for further information. Recovery log SCP-804. Approximately five minutes after activation, the effect of SCP-804 reached a nearby community of blank. Citizens who were not out at the art show initially responded with panic and made several emergency calls. Due to the extreme remote location of the town, the first response was made by a single proper aircraft, which arrived about 30 minutes later. Although the plane entered the area of effect and was quickly lost, the pilot did relay radio missions message describing the swift and complete destruction of the town's buildings. At this point, the Foundation became aware of the situation and teams of agents were sent to investigate. By the time agents were able to arrive on scene, SCP-804 had been intermittently active for nearly eight hours, and as a result, the town and everything in the rural areas of that expanse was wiped clean of any trace of human civilization. Upon arrival, one plane was immediately affected. Fortunately, the crew was able to make an emergency landing before a physical structure over the plane collapsed around them. Unfortunately, their equipment and clothing was also quickly disintegrated, exposed them to the extreme cold of northern Alaska. As a result, six agents had to be treated for hypothermia, but all are expected to return to duty with no lasting effects. <sighs> After recovering the crew of the downed plane, agents set up a perimeter and were able to observe the epicenter of SCP-804's effect. The surviving population of Blank had crowded around the remains of the E device. All subjects observed were severely emaciated, suffering from severe hypothermia. Exposure had only worsened the effect of SCP-804, and many subjects were observed with missing digits and even limbs. The survivors were approaching the device in teams of two or three. Two to three to press at the single remaining globe within the SCP 804's housing in order to maintain its effect. As each subject eventually succumbed and collapsed, another from the crowd of onlookers would shuffle forward to take their place. Survivors were seen in, in to be cheering and encouraging those who were maintaining the device until they were the push defrosted globe came up. Although such manual operation was not sufficient to maintain even the radius of, of effect the device had achieved before damaging itself. Agents were authorized by L5 Blank to open fire on the crowd. On a bullet, it experienced the same decay as any other artifact. Their velocity was enough to strike lethal wounds before decomposition. With the remaining globe of SCP-804 ceased to spin, the effect ended, and agents were able to move in and secure the device. Survivors attempted to resist, but lacked the strength to impede the Foundation agents and began to act in a disoriented manner once they were removed from SCP-804. With no adequate facilities remaining to provide shelter for them all, many survivors chose to simply lie down in the snow and die while others attempted to provoke agents to using lethal force upon them. Those who were taken into custody refused to answer any questions and were it was refused enough care that they did not uh, recover from their physical decay. As exposure to the extreme elements of northern Alaska appears to adequately contain SCP-804 by freezing, in this remaining machinery in place, it was decided to leave the device on site and under guard along with a data expunge in the likely event that a hostile faction attempts to secure the device. <sighs> and then them. SCP-84 is not to be contained within any Foundation facility until it is certain that we will be able to prevent anyone from being compelled to activate or maintain the rotation of the globe. Even a few minutes of SCP-804's effect could destroy its own containment and seriously compromise any other containment at nearby. Contingency 804X Data Expunged The Medic Research Report Revised July 2011 by Joe uh, and sorts. This is the third annual review of any supernatural mimetic component to SP-804, and we still have not produced any significant results. It's time to put the controversy on SP-804's mimetic properties to rest once and for all. Yes, SCP-804 possesses mimetic properties, and yes, these properties were responsible for 
driving the survivors of its activation event into sacrificing themselves to maintain the device. But there is nothing especially violent or dangerous about SCP-804's magnetic properties. Only a few select personality types outlined in the attached report have any desire to reactivate the device. Less than level are the D-class sociopaths who show similar amusement when presented with, with a big red button that says kill everything. We've been looking at this all wrong. There is no magical compulsion that could drive so many people to destroy themselves. There does not need to be. Everything was observed during recovery can be explained by mundane group dynamics and human nature. The, the device had just wiped away all trace of the work and the lives of a reclusive artist and activist its community. The buildings crumbled into dust so fast and that people were not even injured in the collapse. And at the center of it all, a world without man turned around and around on its increasingly irrecative platform, offering a deadly premise that had been presented to them as an ideal. A cure for the virus known as humanity. So why did a group of activists sell themselves up to their neighbors into the deadly workings of a machine that they thought was going to wipe all human life off of Mother Earth? They simply wanted to do it. That was SCP-804. I mean, 804. As you might be able to tell, I'm still a little bit ill. I'm going to be trying to make some short videos once a day to try and help me recover. If you like the videos, please leave a like on the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel if not then i guess you don't have to do any of that i'm hoping that by the time i get better i'll be able to read longer scps again i do want to go over the hundred well the many things dr bright is not allowed to do at the foundation eventually but that won't be anytime soon at least not until my throat stops hurting. I'll see you tomorrow with another fun and short SCP article. <sighs> Have a great day, everyone.